So here is our classic continental Thai slash English breakfast this morning. A bit of a weird collection going on. I actually didn't realize there was chips coming, but we got the fruit, we got the baked beans, the sausage, bacon, egg, bagel. It also comes with a cup of tea or coffee and an orange juice as well. I'm pretty sure this is only 150 baht, which is really, really, really good price for this. Seven pound for all of this. Seven quid for all of it. Jesus, that is a good price. I'm sure we're about to enjoy this. So we've just booked our boat to Rayleigh from PP. It actually cost 400 baht, so not too bad. It's an hour and a half on a big ferry. Callum also bought this new hat. Uh, this was, I got her down to 170 baht from 250. It's not crazy amounts off. It was like just maybe two pounds. Well, it works out to like four pounds, doesn't it? At 170 baht. So. Yeah, so just a Not terrible. Price. You probably could get it cheaper elsewhere, but it's a nice hat and he needed a new hat, needed so one. needs must. But we're just going to walk our way down to the pier now. We've got a couple of hours still but we'll grab a mango shake or something and then off we go your bag looks like a big tortoise shell <laughs> Busy. Question is will we find seats together? Probably not. Just walk into our hotel now. So many new resorts that are being built. So we're in Rayleigh, one, because it's beautiful, and two, I really want to climb here. And just to explore, we don't really know much about it and what else it has to offer. I like climbing and I've heard a lot of good things about the climbing here. So I guess we'll find out in the next couple of days. We've only got a couple of nights here. Obviously we cut one night short in PP, so potentially could have an extra night here in Rayleigh. Uh, honestly, it depends on the weather and it depends how we get on with just if we like the place or not. But Callum's gonna do some climbing because obviously that's quite a big thing to do here but yeah very uh looking forward to exploring a new place and uh welcome to Rayleigh clearly it's also low season at the moment because this is normally all water up to here but as you can see it is really far out the tide I think it's also a very very small place it seems like everything is sort of within this stretch so we can walk to a lot of places I'm not even sure if like public transport is really a thing we're just now supposed to be walking to our hotel and there is a parrot. I think we booked it called Hilltop. Yeah. Hilltop Hotel here in Rayleigh. There's actually only one hostel available on Rayleigh Beach. Well, as far as that we could see on Hostel World anyway. So we decided to just book ourselves into a hotel instead. It's costing us £20 a night, so £10 each. But listen, you've got to do what you've got to do. We're here for just one night at the moment and I've got to catch up on some editing. Callum obviously wants to climb and we'll see how we get on in the next few nights, whether we're going to extend there or not. Another day another pad thai. Dinner is served. We've got a pad thai. This was 80 baht and I believe it's the cheapest one that, well, the cheapest one that we could find anyway. Always constantly asking for no spice, no chilli, but um, this does look spicy and I can see chilli flakes, so I'll update you. Spicy. The culprit. They've had to turn off the lights and the fans because there is a massive infestation of, I don't even know what flies they are, but if you can see them, they just kind of came from nowhere. I mean, it got dark and then suddenly there was like a million flies flying around us. They actually have uh, one here, one over here somewhere. Lovely, extra protein. Oh my God, it's huge. Look at the gill on that. Oh my God, flies everywhere, seriously. Oh, they keep landing on me. I really don't think the camera will be picking up, but Jesus, there is just thousands of these flies. Good morning, welcome to another day on Rayleigh Beach. We have just gotten up this morning to find some breakfast. We found online a place that did smoothie bowls, but when we got here, we actually ended up ordering a sandwich. Anyways, this is our breakfast this morning. We've got a egg bacon and cheese sandwich, although it looks really dry. 
These were 160 baht each, so actually really overpriced for a slab of uh, burger cheese in the middle. About £3.70 each sandwich, so not terrible in terms of English pricing, but for Thailand that is like really expensive. Today we're just debating what our next move is. We've just extended our hotel for one more night here, so we're going to do at least one more night on Rayleigh. And then we don't know whether Callum's going to climb maybe today or maybe tomorrow, and then I think we're going to go over to Al Nang and do one night there as well. It's a bit of a miserable day today. It's not actually raining at the moment, I don't think, but it really looks like it's about to. We also wanted to visit the, what, what is it called? Emerald Frank. Cave? Oh, no, Frank Nang Cave. Frank Nang Cave. And um, Emerald the Emerald Pools. Pools. So I don't know if we're going to squeeze that in again today or tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. Let's taste test this sandwich. Said sandwich in question. Not like good. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So this is uh, Rayleigh Beach West. This is the famous beach for just enjoying. Beautiful. And you can tell why. That part of the beach was just a little bit too busy for our liking. Not really one that we would have stayed and enjoyed with that many tourists and people taking pictures there. But it was very beautiful. The water was very clear and blue. The part of the beach that Callum actually wanted to go to was on the other side. I think you've got to wait for the tide to go out before you can walk across because I don't know if there's like a direct route there otherwise. You want to go up there now or later? I don't want to. So I've decided to go up to this lagoon. Um, Lucy didn't want to come up because this is the way up. You have to kind of use this rope. Maybe I should have worn trainers, but oh well. We're on our way now, so I'll let you know what it's like when we get there. Okay, so a little tip if you're coming up here, and if you haven't done any scrambling before, always have three points of contact on the rocks. Good ones as well, um, especially somewhere like this. Look at this. Coming down, I'm literally going to be abseiling down this. Look at that. That is just vertical. Challenge accepted. And that is where I've come from. Yeah, shoes might have been a good idea, but it's actually kind of nice without shoes because then you can actually know where you're stepping and what you're stepping on. Almost there, I think. 145 meters. Okay, let's go. This is actually mad. Look, this is what I'm staring at right now. This is just before the Blue Lagoon. You see that? I have to go down here using this rope. You can kind of just tell how steep it is, but I am going to go down it, so it's my hands right now. Crazy. Okay, so where I just last filmed was just above these rocks here, and I was like, okay, I'll come down and see. This is it. This is what I need to climb down. I'm currently here. I can't get down this way. So I'm going to go over to this rope here. It looks like there might be some sort of steps the other side. Oh, wish me luck. Update. I made it. I'm fucking dirty as anything. That was absolutely chaos. Have no signal to let Lucy know I'm here. I can't climb straight back up now. Ain't no way. Right, so after that nice swim in this lagoon, we are now gonna be on our way back. Luckily, there's four of us this time, so a bit safer, but look at this. <laughs> Shit, mate, I don't know. This is Lucy's stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah. Cheers, I'm Wait, not. Cheers, yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube, yeah. look at the tech Yeah, YouTube. Really? Yeah. I'm not gonna film anything on the way back because I don't really fancy dying, and it's definitely harder on the way back, but you'll see if I make it, so I'm sure I will. So, a little update for you. I made it back and we are back together. Lucy waited nice and patiently. About an hour and 45 minutes at the bottom. It was so, worth it. Girlfriend points. I mean, fiance points. Yep. She had a friend there because I was with boyfriend of another girl that was <laughs> waiting down there. There was only four of us there as you saw and it was just so beautiful and peaceful. I'm glad I did the climb but it's... I'm glad I didn't do the climb, honestly. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't do it. Just on our way to find some lunch and we stumbled across this little stall that's selling smoothies. This is the cheapest I've found smoothies anywhere so far in the south of Thailand. 40 for a mango and I'm getting a mixed fruit at the bottom which is only 50 and it's huge. And you know it's good when you can see them actually putting the fruit in it. Sometimes yeah. they use like powdered flavouring and stuff but this is, we saw the mango. And... I mean, you can see there. That is actually incredible. Don't knock the small cheap stands till you try them, hey? Shock horror, got more noodles. These are only 80 baht for egg fried slash vegetable fried noodles. Callum's gone to the toilet and his hasn't come out yet, but he's got an egg sandwich, which was also 80 baht. Thank you. Is the egg sandwich in question? Pringles. 
еще. Hello from me in the future. I've decided to join two vlogs together just to make my life a little bit easier because I seem to keep forgetting to upload them. So Phuket incoming. Hello, we have literally just arrived in Phuket. What was supposed to be a couple of hours quick short journey from Krabi today ended up being about five hours long, but we finally made it to our hotel. We're actually staying outside of Patong because a lot of people have told us not to bother staying in Patong area. Patong is basically the big party strip, very loud, very unsafe, just not great vibes. Can't base that off of our own opinions because obviously we haven't actually stayed there, but I just thought we'd feel a little bit safer staying out of the Patong area. So we're actually staying along from Kata Beach, which is in the like Karon area. I actually found this guest house homestay thing this morning on Hostel World. And it was literally, I think 11 pounds for both of us for the night. I'm gonna show you where we're staying right now. This is not anything mega, mega bougie, but bear in mind, it's about four pound 50 per person. So we're winning. So this is our room. We've just got a bathroom here, nothing special just a big one room shower toilet sink does the lot job and then this is our room it's absolutely huge for what I was expecting and the bed is ginormous we also have a swimming pool just outside and we also get free breakfast and free lunch technically as well because the breakfast runs from seven till two so honestly I'm thrilled with this. This is value for money if I've ever seen it. So anyways, if this vlog makes it out of the drafts, then welcome to Phuket. Hopefully we're in for a fun few days here. So we've just hired a bike, driven 15 minutes in the pissing rain to come specifically to this burger place that I saw on Google. We were really craving a burger tonight. I don't know what came over me, but all of the burger restaurants that we walked past, they were really expensive for just a beef burger and fries. And I found this place and it's really, really super cheap compared to what we were paying in a restaurant. You can pause the video to read it for yourself, but I mean, look at the size of the menu first off. To get a chicken burger is only 70 baht and to get a beef burger is only 80 with fries. You excited? Yeah. yeah. Callum's gone for like a recommended menu. Burger. It's a double beef burger, double bacon, double cheese, onion rings and fries for- 170, 180? 189, which is four pound 38. Mental. Also, side note, this is one of the most expensive bikes that we've rented. Not in terms of how much it was to rent, it was fairly cheap for Thailand, it was only 200 baht, but the deposit was 3,000, which is like 60 quid, but mainly just because it's literally a brand new bike. It's a keyless bike, which is mental, but it's, it's a good one, so it's just got to be careful on it. But yeah, let's see how this burger is. I've got to put my flashlight on so you can see it properly, but Jesus, I, I am it. so glad that we came here instead of one of the restaurants. Callum's looks like fire. Jeez, that looks so good. Good choice, eh? Very good. Yum, 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 yum. Good taste. And it's crispy chicken. So good. Yeah. So good. Mission burger accomplished. How was it? Ratings? Customer service, 10 out of 10. Lovely, they knew everything on the menu and it came out so quick, even though I mean, we're the only people here. <laughs> the burger, incredible. I mean, it speaks for itself. Yeah. There's nothing left. The burger was incredible. And for that price, it's absolutely like, I couldn't even get a double waffle with fries for eight quid. Chips, delicious. This burger sauce, delightful. Unbelievable. 10 out of 10. That was so good. So freaking good. And I got chicken nuggets on the side as well. What more could a girl ask for, honestly? Highly, highly, highly recommend if anyone is in Phuket, please, please come and support the business here at Mix Burger. It's just a really small place. I'll show you from the outside. It's kind of just like a main road along here. And then a burger stall here. This is where he cooks it. And then obviously they've got this little inside bit, I suppose, for people to just sit and eat. Really, really glad we found this place. Highly recommend. On our way to dinner earlier, we actually also drove through the Kata Night Market, which was pretty good, to be honest. There was quite a few food options. There was a few clothes and accessories and everything you expect to see in a normal Thai market. And I picked up a couple of bits of jewelry, so I just thought I'd show you. First up was obviously the classic shell bracelet. You're gonna see a running theme with these. I also picked up one of the classic shell Thai Island Girl necklaces. 
and a little anklet as well because I've broken two of my anklets that I've been wearing since I've been traveling. And then just this little necklace here with some tiny little pearls and shells on the bottom. All of these were only 20 baht. 20 baht is probably the cheapest. I've seen these anywhere in Thailand so far so it was like the perfect place to pick these up. I didn't want to be a basic girl with these. Honestly it's more of like a comedy thing at this point because this is the classic tacky Thai shell necklace that everyone wears. I feel like I couldn't leave Thailand without getting one so I'm very glad I got one and it was only really cheap so if it breaks or I lose it then I don't really care. The next day Good morning. So we've just come down to claim our free breakfast this morning at Cata Villa. Five items for free and we've got literally the choice of, well, everything you could ever want for breakfast, really. This is also the pool for our hotel. I still can't believe how cheap this was per night. So this morning I think we've ditched the idea to go to the water park purely only because it's pretty expensive to get into. I think it's about £35, which English prices is probably cheap, but for Asian prices that's quite expensive for a water park. I think instead we're just gonna drive around on the bike that we hired last night and go and visit the Freedom Beach, the Banana Beach. They're two very popular beaches here in Phuket. Probably also go to Phuket Old Town as well because that's obviously a really popular thing to do here. But other than that, I don't really know. We're just going to go and explore the local area today. It's another beautiful looking day at the moment in Phuket. So keeping our fingers crossed for a dry day today. Wow, wow, wow. This might be one of the best free breakfasts we've ever had on our travels so far. So I've gone for a mixed fruit salad, fresh mango. I've then also got a breakfast sandwich with egg and bacon and a mango banana smoothie. To be honest, it's actually probably the worst tasting one I've ever had, but still the principle counts. <laughs> Callum's got an egg and bacon croissant you've got muesli right mm -hmm. muesli and yogurt and cornflakes obviously and then he went for a chocolate milk and also a smoothie as well god all of this for free this morning this probably alone would cost more than the price of our night stay in england which is crazy to think about so we've just driven to phuket old town not really sure what's here as ever i don't really ever know what's going on anymore but we're gonna have a little walk around and see what we can find A mixed fruit shake, but with no passion fruit. Thank you. Uh, can I please have a cold camera latte? But to add entry with drink, 396. Yeah. It's crazy how our hotel is cheaper than that. I know. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Oh, hello. Hello in there. Hello there, handsome. Oh my goodness, are you so gorgeous? Hi, beautiful. Oh, you're so snuggly. Callum's iced coffee just came out with two little cats on it. How cute. <laughs> you big fluffy baby. Look at the two bears. Hello, kitty. Oh, you're gonna get smacked. You're not a very social one, right? They've got such an angry look about them. Two hours later. So we've just gotten to Freedom Beach. I remember seeing this on so many vlogs that I used to watch before we came traveling. We've got our 7-Eleven toasty snack ready for the beach. We're just walking down the steps to get here now. After Old Town, we basically went to the beach that was near to our other villa. We had to check out of that because it was fully booked for tonight. So we've checked into another one which is nearer to the Patong area. I know, completely contradicts what I said yesterday in the vlog about staying near Patong, but we've just moved into a little cheap guest house, but it's a way from the noise and the party so I think we'll be okay there. Also I mentioned in the vlog about Banana Beach what I didn't realize was Banana Beach is on a whole separate island. I think it's in the Phuket province but it's not accessible to get to from here. Well we just passed some people and they said we've still got a while to walk so I don't really know what we're in for to be honest. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth it. It's the home stretch. I can see it to the end. 
I'd say we've been walking for probably somewhere between five and ten minutes but obviously going downhill is nowhere near as hard as going up. I can imagine this is gonna take us a long time to get back up but look how beautiful. This is gorgeous. Hello. Oh, oh. Ah. You are gorgeous but you can't have any, I'm sorry. I know what you want. We've just worked for this toasty and you're not having any. I'm sorry. You are gorgeous. <laughs> Cheers. A toast. A toasty. A few moments later. Oh Jesus. <sighs> Was it worth it? Yes. Would I do it again? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I'm too big of a crybaby for that shit. Jesus Christ, I'm sweating from every angle. And that is the end of our Krabby slash Phuket vlog. Something that I actually didn't mention in the first part of the video was we were talking a lot about Callum going climbing in Rayleigh Beach and then I never included it in the vlog purely because I didn't go with him and I didn't film it. But do you want to just talk about your experience climbing there? It was amazing. It was really good fun. The views of the beach as you're up on top was just crazy. Uh, when I last climbed outside was in Laos and it was like in between two cliff faces so I couldn't really see much. The climbing with a view was pretty cool. Oh my god. <laughs> the price of it was 1,500 bar in every single shop in Krabi and Al Nang. Yeah, question? <laughs> That's only for a half day climb. That, correct, that is for a half day <laughs> climb. I actually ended up getting it for 1,290, which is like 29 quid because I booked it on Get Your Guide. So you recommend? 100% recommend. Also, before we went to Phuket, a lot of people, actually a very high percentage of people we've met who had already been in Thailand, basically said to us, skip Phuket, don't go to Phuket, it's not worth it, it's rubbish, blah, 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 blah. We actually really didn't think it was that bad, did no. we, at all? And we were staying, obviously, outside of the Patong area to begin with. We stayed in the Kata area, which actually I would really recommend. I really liked it there. They had a really nice night market, and it was also sort of closer to the old town area. Honestly, Phuket is huge. It's massive. It's very resorty in some areas. It's very party-based in some areas, like Bangla Road and Patong area. We actually wanted to stay a couple of extra days on Phuket, but we didn't think we had time, but I honestly would say that it wasn't as bad as people said it was, so that's the moral of the story. Anyways, if you've made it this far into this long video, thank, thank you, you so for much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, like, comment down below what you want to see next. It doesn't matter because we're going to the next place anyway, <laughs> so you can't tell us. Thank you so much once again for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one, which is... Ko Pee Pee. Ko Samui. Ko Samui. Ko Samui. So watch out for that one. Bye!